To the I-Team now, some good news tonight for bargain hunters and arts and crafts lovers. The Dallas markets are back in business. The popular shopping district in Paulding County was forced to close suddenly last October over unpermitted construction work combined with some odd behavior from its owner. City officials say Andrew Rodriguez told them he was building a bunker on the property to defend against an invasion of Chinese terrorists. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis here now with why the city is saying Dallas markets are now safe for the public. Right? Harrison Courtney, this is a strange story indeed. Rodriguez has now dismantled the bunker, built without city permits while under a stop work order. But we still don't know whether he's changed his mind about this fear of an outside attack that nearly cost him his business. I set this up to basically be a command center. When City Marshal Michael Hester visited the Dallas Market's property last October, he came across an owner clearly proud of his work. 2,500 square feet of space. Everything is 12 inch thick with rebar, level 7 steel doors. An elevated turret for sharpshooters. This is set up to get roof access. Let's put all your defensive shooters up there. A bunker where Andrew Rodriguez expected he would soon take his last stand. This is a, a, the secondary panic room. This was built to be the armory for you guys. Believe me, if it hits the fan, I'm going to be ringing my own stuff. Buddy, <laughs> it's going to hit the fan. A dark vision indeed. And yet, right next door... Dallas Markets is a place in downtown Dallas where we bring together commerce, community, and fun things to do. A bright idea that's been a huge success. The Dallas Markets became the city's most visible attraction. This YouTube video showing some of the 200 vendors who offered homemade products and services to a steady stream of happy shoppers. There's all sorts of fun things to do here at the Dallas Markets. But last year, Rodriguez started building his bunker in building three of the property, lining up old shipping containers to form a perimeter. When city officials confronted him, according to the marshal's report, Mr. Rodriguez acknowledged that he was doing construction under stop work order and that he did not have time to go through the permitting process because he believed that on Halloween, October 31st, going into November 1st, that China would be attacking the United States with terrorists who have entered through the United States southern border as well as with blimps. Mr. Rodriguez stated they would poison the air and water with fentanyl. What did you guys think when you started talking about that? I think the appropriate adjective would be stunned silence. The city chose not to publicize his comments. Furious vendors and customers criticized authorities for shutting down the Dallas market so quickly. 22 people are dead, dozens are wounded. At the time, a mass shooting was unfolding in Maine. You're not given the luxury of just you know, sloughing it off or just saying, ah, oh, he's just joking, and especially in today's day and age. When we started investigating in November, we found social media sites for Rodriguez filled with impending doom. God has called us to be warriors, and we are going to take this country back in his name. I don't understand why this has turned into anything other than me trying to take care of my family and community. I don't think this is an the end times. I mean, what you characterize end times as being. It looks like um, that's a good first step. The city took Rodriguez to court, insisting that he remove all work that endangered the public, like unpermitted electrical wiring. The two sides have now agreed to this consent order, allowing Dallas Markets to reopen. Good morning. Good morning. It's Andrew and Angelica from the Hi. Dallas Markets. Let's show you what's new here this week. It's officially back in business this weekend. Of course, it's been five months now since that day that Chinese terrorists were supposedly going to invade our country. And so far, the air and water are fentanyl free. But it leads to other questions. Does the owner of the Dallas markets still have concerns? And if so, should anyone care? Despite our repeated attempts, neither Rodriguez nor his attorney would answer those questions. Has he taken that prediction back in any of the conversations you've had? And does it make any difference to you? We're not really concerned about Mr. Rodriguez's right to think that the world may end soon. It's not about what a person thinks. It's about how they behave pursuant to the law. And, and if he's following the law, then, you know, he can believe what he wants to believe. 
Meanwhile, Rodriguez and the contractor for that bunker are now fighting it out in court. Rodriguez already paid $270,000. The company wants another $1 million and tried to foreclose on the property. They were blocked, but in his defense, Rodriguez says that he was going through a mental health episode. That's what he had in the court documents. Mm -hmm. And he said the contractor should have known this because of his obvious, quote, erratic behavior. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, you told us that some of the vendors suffered because they weren't able to take yeah. advantage of the Christmas season. I, I wonder if they're going to come back given that erratic behavior that he admits to. Well, some have just said they're not going to come back. They've actually moved on and opened up um, brick and mortar shops on their own. Uh -huh. But uh, he's had a, he had a soft opening last weekend, and a lot of vendors did come back. Uh, mm. They they really want to try, try to recapture the magic they thought they had there before this um, unfortunate incident cost them so much money there last late last year. Yeah, a lot of people uh, really relying on that location to operate their businesses. Right, and it's there's nothing else like it on that side of Atlanta, and so a lot of people were coming to it. It just it was a lot of fun, I'm told, the people who were going there, and then they saw this bunker being built next door, and it was all very secretive, and then suddenly they were out of business, so yeah. they're very glad to be back in yeah. business now. Oh, sure. Let's hope they can recapture the magic. Let's right. hope so. Right.